Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little die cutting, a little stamping, and a little glimmer hot foiling. I'll be creating three cards using the Toolbox Essential Collection from Nancy McCabe and Spellbinders. So let me show you these items before we get in with the projects. First, I have a stamp set called A Cut Above the Rest Sentiments. There are so many cute sentiments in this set. My favorite says, you came, you sawed, you fixed, thanks for all you do. And here is the Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. This one's called Nailed It. And it's this strip of tools. You got a saw, a hammer, a wrench, and so forth. And you glimmer them all together, which makes it super easy to hot foil. And it fits beautifully on an A2 sized card. However, you can use it on any size card that you'd like. It also has a sentiment included that says nailed it. And the last item I'm going to be creating with is a die cutting set. It's called All the Tools. And this is a layering die set. There are a lot included. This set was so popular that it has already sold out, but I'll leave the link in the description box so that you can click on the notify me when it's back in stock button. But these dies create the cutest set of tools and I'll show you all of these in just a moment. So let's start off with card number one. I'm using some lunar paste. This is silver. It's, it's kind of new from Simon Hurley. But I love this stuff because it's going to give me the perfect look and texture to cut out these the metal parts of these tools with. So I just have a piece of Nina Solar White. I believe this is the 80 pound cardstock. But you can put it on whatever cardstock you'd like. I'm just going to put a stripe down the side of this paper and then draw it out so that it is flat and it completely covers this paper. This paste dries really fast, so I do like to close up the lid while I'm working with it. But I am going to go edge to edge with that, and once it's dry, this is what it looks like. It's not too shiny, but yet just shiny enough. <laughs> now I can die cut all of the metallic pieces to these tools with this cardstock. And I just barely have enough of this cardstock to do it, but of course I could always make more if I wanted to die cut more of these. But I'm going to take them off screen and run them through my Platinum 6 machine. I also want to show you a new color of cardstock essential from Spellbinders. It's called Latte. It's such a beautiful light brown. They do have a darker brown in the shop. It's called Timber. Let me show you what that one looks like, but it's really dark. And so I was excited that they released a light brown and I used the light brown to cut out some of the wood portions to these tools. So here are all of my tools. They just need to be layered up now or glued together. And I'm going to speed up the video and show you how all of these layer up. We'll start with the ruler first. And because this is now metallic cardstock, it will take a little while to dry. I'm just going to put an acrylic block on top and let it dry while I put together other tools. Here's the crescent wrench. I'll layer on the little detail piece and the extra bits to this. So cute. And now for the saw. And they're very easy to assemble. They are all etched so you know exactly where to put all of the pieces. Here's the little paintbrush. There are five dies that go with this piece. And now for the scissors. And then there's the cutest little hammer. So the colors are going to be blue, brown, yellow, and just a touch of pink. Next is the paint roller. And then this is the little sponge that goes on top. It's so adorable. And now for the screwdriver. And that is all of them. Oh, here's another little piece to the screwdriver that I have to glue on. They're so detailed and adorable. Okay, let's create a card with most of these pieces. I would have used all of them, but I couldn't fit them on. Sometime I want to create a slimline card using all of the dies. 
I'm going to glue on a piece of corrugated cardstock. They used to have this in the Spellbinder shop, and I'm hoping they'll bring it back, but it just has some fun, very fine corrugated texture to it. The sentiment I'm using on this card says, thanks for all you do, and I'm stamping that out onto a four petal label die. And I cut this out with alabaster cardstock. I'll start by gluing my sentiment down first, and then I can just arrange the tools around it. And these are all going to be glued down flat. This will be a really adorable set if you want to create some Father's Day cards. This wrench is going to overlap the sentiment just a little bit. And then the last piece is the ruler. And then I decided to cut out a few florals. This is from the large die of the Month Club kit from January of this year. Now I can attach this to a white card base. The paper matting it is also the alabaster cardstock, so it would match the sentiment. And here is a close up look at the finished card. It's so stinking cute. Just the most fun little set. I can totally understand why it sold out so fast. Card number two involves the Glimmer Hot Foil machine. So I have my plate all ready to go. I'm going to glimmer it with some fuchsia pink cardstock onto a piece of Silver Fox cardstock, which is just a really pale gray. Once it's done heating up, I'll take it off camera and run it through the Platinum 6, redock it. And now we can do the reveal. Let me pull out my magnet tool to lift this off. It is quite hot, so you have to be careful not to burn your fingers. Let me just pull it onto the silicone mat. And I'm trying to be careful not to burn my fingers there. We just peel this. Well, let's go ahead and peel off the foil first. And then that will help me to peel off the plate. I'm being careful not to rip the paper, so I'm going kind of slow. But isn't that beautiful? I'm going to glimmer the other side now with the plate using more of the pink foil. And I'm just using the hinge system to do this. I'll tape this plate onto the cardstock so that it doesn't shift. Let me kind of trim down the foil a little bit. And I have a piece of used tape here. I'm just going to reuse. I can get it unpeeled. There we go. Okay, I'll put this back onto my machine. Hit the timer and let it do its thing. This plate is so easy to work with. I'm glad that they are all connected. It makes just a beautiful background for your cards. Okay, here it is all ready to go. And I'm so, I should wait for it to cool down, but I'm so impatient. I want to see how it turned out. Let me just flip this over and peel off the foil. And again, it just glimmered up beautifully. And here is a close up look at this panel. There are a few places where you can see the card stuck through the foil, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm gluing a piece of a little bit of a darker gray cardstock onto the card base. I believe this is called Lunar Gray. And I cut my main panel down just a little bit so that it would have a matting to it. I'll center this on the card base. And then I'm going to glue down my sentiment. I cut it out with some foam. This is glitter foam. And I used an older die set called Simply Perfect Mix and Match Sentiments. And it just says, congrats. I'm gluing this onto a piece of vellum paper. The vellum helps to spotlight your sentiment, but not totally cover up the beautiful background. I'll put some glue behind the vellum, just where my sentiment is. Just using teeny tiny little dots of glue to do this. Then I'll center this up at the top. And I glimmered out the sentiment that says nailed it with more of the pink foil. I'll trim off the overhang 
I added a few gems and here is a close-up look. It almost looks red in a certain light. But once you turn it, you can definitely see the fuchsia pink. Okay, we're gonna do that again for card number three. This time I'm using silver foil on a piece of Cosmic Sky cardstock. I'll use the hinge method again and put it on the Glimmer Hot Foil machine. Okay, here it is all done. I did take it off camera, of course, and run it through the Platinum 6. Ooh, and this is super hot. can barely touch it. And this time I'm just going to glimmer it once. And I did it in the center of this cardstock, but isn't that silver just gorgeous with the dark blue? The main panel is ready to go, and now I can stamp out the sentiment. This one is going to say, thanks for building me up. Let me pull out my ink and an acrylic block. I'm just going to stamp it at the very edge of this chamomile yellow cardstock. Then if I get it straight, it's really easy to cut out with my paper trimmer. This stamp set is really fabulous. They also have a sentiment that says nailed it that you can stamp out. Some others say number one helper. Congrats on the new digs. Love you to bits. And then there's more focused ones that you can just use the scissors with that says a cut above the rest. And I'm nuts about you. I'll attach this to the card base without a matting this time. I'm going to fishtail the sentiment like I did on the last one. This is going to go down flat at the top of the card. It's a very simple design, but you don't need to do much with it because the beautiful glimmer plate does it all for you. I'll add a few silver fashion embellishments. These are like silver pearls. And here it is all done. Just love the glimmer of that. It's so much fun. And those are my card projects for today. I'll leave links to all of the products that I use to create these three cards in the description box if you want to check those out. I really appreciate you clicking on those links. It does help out my channel a lot. I get a little bit of a kickback at no extra cost to you. Have a wonderful crafty day, my friends. Until next time, bye.